Greetings. First of all, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gilang Redaya. I am a postgraduate student in Faculty of Economics and Business of Universitas Indonesia. I major in Corporate Strategy. And in this conference, I will deliver my research about the antecedents of, of organizational innovation in Indonesian digital, micro, small, and medium enterprises. This presentation will be divided into four parts, which are introduction, literature review, research methodology, and finally, result and discussion. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed business environment across the globe regardless of their organization size and regardless the sectors which they operate in. In that case, various organizations from micro, small, medium enterprises level to large scale enterprises level are suffered from the COVID-19 pandemic. In that case, dynamic capabilities is required by those organizations to adapt with the change caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Previous research emphasized that one way an organization could survive the pandemic is to do innovation. However, for an organization to successfully create innovation, they should develop their skills reconfigure their resources, and also develop their capabilities to improve the products or make adjustment to their existing products so their current products are suitable with the change in the market and also with the most updated customer preferences. Marketplace is considered to be a technology that could stimulate innovation through the change of business process delivered by its digital ecosystem nature. There are various benefits that an organization can have by using digital marketplace into their business process. For example, they can involve in a seamless transaction without having to directly interact with customers. And in addition to that, they also able to reach customers that are otherwise impossible due to geographical constraints. In that case, um, micro, small, medium enterprises is considered to be one of the organization type that could benefit from using marketplace technology to generate innovation, which eventually will increase their likelihood to survive. This research will use Indonesian micro small medium enterprises as its unit of analysis. Short break background about Indonesian micro small medium enterprises. The MSME sector in Indonesia contributes around 61% of the total GDP. That, now, that percentage equals to approximately 8,000 trillion rupiah. In addition to that, the MSME sector has also employed 117 million workers alone. Thus, there are 16.4 million unit of micro small medium enterprises that have go digital with various marketplace applications such as Shopee, Tokopedia, and Bukalapak in 2021 alone. However, those marketplace is considered to be only a tools that can support uh, the MSMEs business activities. The big question is that what else can be done by those MSMEs to stimulate their innovation, which eventually increase their likelihood to survive the COVID-19 pandemic. 
This research will refer to previous two research by Lita et al. in 2020 and by Doe et al. in 2020 about the factors that could affect organizational innovation in Indonesian and SME context. There are four factors that will be analyzed, which are organizational learning, organizational resilience, entrepreneurial orientation, and organizational culture. Furthermore, this research will also analyze the impact of organizational learning towards organizational resilience. And finally, this research will analyze whether environmental dynamism as an external factor could enhance the possibility of innovation within MSME context. As mentioned in previous part, organizational innovation will be analyzed by the four factors that could influence innovation, which are organizational learning, organizational resilience, entrepreneurial orientation, and organizational culture. In addition, this research will also add environmental dynamism as its moderating variables, which could affect the relationship between organizational learning and organizational innovation, as well as organizational learning uh, with organizational resilience. This research is rooted in the resource-based view and dynamic capabilities concept, which is rooted in the strategic management concept. The dynamic capability concept will translate it into three different applications, in which are organizational learning, entrepreneurial orientation, and environmental dynamism. Furthermore, this research will also emphasize on organizational culture, which is defined as the practice or customs and norms that is possessed by an organization member, which in turn into their daily activities. Furthermore, this research, this research will also study both organizational resilience and organizational level within the organization level, although both of those variables are originated from an individual level resilience and individual level of innovation. As for data collection and analysis, this research uses Indonesian MSME that has access towards digital marketplace application to support their business. In addition to that, this research will also use MSME that has operated for at least five years and have at least five employees. Based on those criteria, this research has collected 265 digital MSME in any industries across Indonesia. As for the data collection methods, this research utilizes online questionnaire distribution that is facilitated by Google Survey, and this research also uses offline questionnaire distribution towards offline markets in Greater Jakarta area. As for the data analysis methods, this research uses data parceling that is each indicators are parceled into the same based into the same dimension based on their literature review. And the second one, this research also use validity and reliability analysis to discover which indicators that should be excluded in the final analysis. And then we also use measurement model analysis to determine the reliability as well as the validity of the research model. And finally, we use structural model analysis to discover the relationship among latent variables. Based on the 265 respondents collected, we can see that the majority of respondents' business types came from food and beverage, 
and the marketplace applications that they use are mostly Tokopedia and Shopee. The number of employees that they have are approximately between 11 to 20 employees. And the majority of their annual profit are ranged between 2 to 15 billion rupiah. From the statistical output you can see in the slide, you can see that all indicators are considered to be reliable due to their constructed reliability and variance extracted value that satisfy the minimum uh, values as well as they can be considered as valid due to standardized loading factors and the values that also meet the minimum criteria. From the research framework, we can see that only entrepreneurial orientation that has significant impact towards organizational innovation and also organizational learning has significant impact towards organizational resilience. Based on the research findings, we conclude that there are only two hypotheses that are supported out of seven hypotheses. Those are organizational learning have significant impact towards organization resilience in MSME sector and entrepreneurial orientation have significant impact towards organizational innovation in MSME sector. From the previous result, we can say that MSME owners should encourage activities such as experimentation, knowledge sharing, and ideas exchange that could stimulate the ideas that could be used as a reference for further innovation. In addition to that, MSME owners should also proactively seek business opportunities from the change of customer preference and also from the development of the latest technology. And MSME owners should also consider how they interpret the vast information that going around their business which is obtained from both external and, and, and internal environment to match its current business condition. Their ability to interpret those informations will impact how the rest of the organization can develop uh, the necessary knowledge for their business survival. And last but, last, last but not least, MSME owners face difficulty when faced with situation they have limited experience with before. In that case, they will less likely to utilize their knowledge to create an innovative solution for their survival. From the research, we can conclude that MSME owners' entrepreneurial orientation have the most significant influence towards MSME innovation. Both innovativeness and proactiveness as part of entrepreneurial orientation have the highest influence towards organizational innovation in MSME. Information interpretation as part of organizational learning has the most significant impact towards organizational resilience. And organizational resilience fail to influence organization innovation. Adaptive resilience has the least significant factor towards organizational innovation. As for the managerial implication, it is crucial for MSME owners to actively seek business opportunities from the change of customer preferences or from the development of technology. The support from MSME owners towards activities are aimed to increase innovation such as experiments and exchanging ideas are considered to be essential. And last but not least, in developing adaptive resilience for times of crisis, MSME owners should develop leadership that suits crisis conditions. The owner's ability to lead during crisis will make MSME more likely to be able to utilize the resources to create a solution or to create an innovation which could uh, determine their survival in the COVID-19 pandemic. There are two ways in which future research can continue the research on MSME. First is they can focus on factors that could increase survival likelihood for MSME that has no access towards digital marketplace. So they can focus on other factors other than innovation. And for the second point, future research can focus on institutional theory with government or regulator as their stakeholders. As we know that government 
or regulators are likely to give uh, financial and also non-financial support toward MSMEs and future research can do analysis on how those factors can affect the likelihood of survival for the MSME sectors.